Fulton Avenue exit. Then we'll drive down to Nine Mile, and then uh, we'll convene there. Apparently, they'll let us in, all the pre-registered uh, Mustang Alley folks that's going to be arriving between uh, 7 and 10 o'clock. So it's 7.15 right now, and uh, let's see how busy it is. So it rained last night, so we got some cleaning to do on the car, but not too bad. Just some drying and some quick detailing, and we should be in good shape. Alright, this is always fun. So we're gonna open the windows. We're going through a tunnel. We're gonna wrap it. Alright, here we go. It's about a, I don't know, half mile long of uh, Mustangs waiting to get in line. I saw GT500, new one, come by, no stripes, all maroon, and it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Those cars got a stance all their own and a look unbelievable, incredible, pretty badass. All right. So, just out of uh, pure observation, and we all know, I think the Coyote Mustang has, has exploded in the last few years. Um, huge popularity in the Gen 3 Coyote, the Gen 3 cars that came out, Gen 2, Gen 3, sorry. Um, they're very similar. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But uh, I see more of these cars Maybe it's because of their performance or they're gaining more popularity, but um, you know, gotta admit they are one hell of a one hell of a car for a five liter. Pretty cool to see the enthusiast. Uh, there's a ton of uh, Mustang orders, and what I've noticed so far here is that uh, again they were all these all these new uh, body styles: 2015, 16, 17, 18. The stance I saw, as I mentioned earlier, well, in a little short clip, but I saw a 2020 GT500 coming down the road, and the stance on that car is just unreal. It looks like it's ready to bite, and it's the baddest looking car. I'd have to say, I, I've seen it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. One sun is shining. Um, some really, really, really nice cars coming in. And you got your classic highway patrol car. Uh, really cool. Those were the uh, thing back in '87. Uh, Those were. The, the car to have. They were fast, they were light, um, high output 302. The Woodward crews, you see everything. We are finally getting up to the car turn, but there's a gentleman here on the left, trailer in their Mustang. We got the lady here and their dog going to the Pony Corral. How cool is that? Um, check out this bad boy. Give you a quick look here. We're turning the corner right on to Nine Mile. Looks like they're in line. It's gonna be busy. It's gonna be a hot day. Good. A little bit of everything here. 
here. Oh, oh ponies. All right, this wraps up um, our cruise to Woodward. So I just wanted to uh, let my viewers get a feel of what it's like going to Mustang Alley. So just a quick tips on getting to Woodward. Uh, you want to get there early if you're pre-registered. I was there a quarter after seven. I waited probably an hour, 10, 15 minutes on this. It was quite a long line uh, on Hilton Road where we were waiting. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then there was a lot of other cars that uh, came. And as we, we were approaching the entrance, um, there were two lines. Um, and one line, I don't know, for whatever reason, we got slowed down. But anyways... The other thing is, is um, the time that I got there, again, it was about 7.15, we got in, I don't know, I think it was about 8.30 by the time we got in and parked. The area was almost full, so we were close to uh, probably a block to uh, Hilton Road, um, where we parked on, or where they had us parked on Nine Mile. Both sides of Nine Mile was getting filled up. There was, I believe, a party store. I don't remember exactly what um, on the south side of the street also got filled up. So even though I got there at 7.15, I, I didn't get deep into uh, Nine Mile there in the city of Ferndale. What I did notice though while I was walking around that there were cars, the unregistered cars could get in after 9. Uh, at 10 o'clock I did see uh, a small roll or line of Mustangs come in, three or four. And um, they were escorted all the way into um, close to Woodward Ave. So I suspect possibly some of those spots were saved for the non-registered um, Mustang owners. But it seemed like to me the way it filled up so fast that 98% of the Mustang owners that were there were pre-registered. Everybody must have got there way before uh, 7 o'clock because apparently it opened at 7, but I don't know how they filled and parked that quickly, but maybe they did. I don't know. But all in all, um, hope the tips is good. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching uh, to my viewers, and take care.